Hello, I'm Jason with scienceandmath.com. Today we're going to switch gears a little bit and talk about how to find the factors of a number. And previous to now, we've learned about fractions, we've, we've introduced the concept of what a fraction is, and we've done some practice with it. Now we're going to talk about these things called factors. The reason we're doing it now is because factoring numbers, finding factors of numbers, is actually something that we, we use quite a bit when we add fractions together and when we subtract them, when we multiply them. We'll constantly be uh, uh, meddling with these fractions and trying to use these factors to make them simpler or change them. And so it's very important to know how to do this so that we can move on and do the next step. So when you talk about the factors of a number, what it basically means, and I'll just write a quick definition up here and then we will go on to it. When you have a factor of a number, that's what we talk about. A factor is a number that divides evenly into another number. So literally, it's a, it's a number that divides evenly into another number. And I realize this can be a little confusing, so let me give you a quick example, and then we will understand exactly what these words mean. So if I want to find the factor, so find the factors of the following things, this is how we would do it. Find the factors of, let me switch colors a little bit here, let's say the number 10. So what I'm trying to do, if I'm trying to find the factors of the number 10, is I'm literally trying to write down a list of every number I can think of that will divide evenly into 10 um, you know, without any, any remainder or any leftover. So it has to divide evenly. And if a number can divide evenly into the number 10, then we say it's a factor of the number 10. So let's go uh, start with the number 1 and see how far we can go. So is the number 1 a factor of 10? Yes, the answer is 1 is a factor of 10 because 1 can be divided into 10 uh, evenly. In fact, 10 divided by 1 is 10, so it can be divided in there. Now let's ask yourself the question, is 2 a factor of 10? Can it be divided into 10? Yes, it can because 10 divided by 2 is 5, so that can be divided evenly. Is 3 a factor of 10? Well, here we hit a roadblock because 3 cannot be divided into 10 evenly because 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 4 is 12. So we don't have any way that the number 3 can be divided in there an even number of times without anything left over. So 3 is not a factor of 10. So then we go to the number 4. Is 4 a factor of 10? And 4 is not a factor of 10 either because 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times 3 is 12. There's no way that I can divide 4 into 10 an even number of times with nothing left over. So the number 4 is not a factor. But the number 5 is a factor of 10 because 5 can be divided into 10 an even number of times. In fact, 10 divided by 5 gives you 2, so that's an, a nice number. Now we can just keep going on. Can 6 be divided into 10? No. Can 7 be divided into 10? No. Can 8 be divided into 10? No. Can 9 be divided into 10? No. Can 10 be divided into 10? Actually, 10 can be divided into 10 uh, because 10 divided by 10 is just one. So what we have here is a list of what we call factors. In this case, the factors of the number 10 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. These are all numbers that can be divided in evenly into the number 10 with nothing left over. There are no other numbers in the universe that can be divided into 10 an even number of times. So I know that it, it doesn't, uh, you may not understand why this is important right now, but when we get into simplifying fractions and doing other things, finding the factors of a number is going to be very, very important. So just make sure you have the concept down. And now that we've done one example, we can read the definition and understand it. A factor is a number that divides evenly into another number. So I always give you a number and I ask you, what are the factors? And then your job is to list the factor. So let's do another, um, another example to learn about this. Let's look at the number 15. And let's list the factors. Can, can the number 1 be divided into 15? In fact, 1 can be divided into any number, so 1 is always a factor. Can 2 be divided into 15? No, because 2 times nothing will give me 15. Can 3 be divided into 15? Yes, because 3 times 5 is 15. 
Can four be divided into 15? No, there's nothing I can, when I take 15 divided by four, I don't get a whole number. Can five be divided into 15? Yes, it can, because five times three is 15. And then you just keep racing through it. Um, can, is six a factor? Is seven a factor? Is eight a factor? Is nine a factor? And so on and so on. The only other factor you're going to get is 15. Because anything between, anything in here, like nine, 10, 11, or 12, if you try to divide it into 15, it doesn't go a whole number of times. It doesn't go an even number of times. So when you do this, these factors, what you're going to find is that the number 1 is always a factor, and the number itself is always a factor on the end because 15 divided by 15 is, is 1. And then you'll have a few numbers in the middle, and what you're looking for are these numbers that divide evenly. So let's get a little more practice. And let's say the number 12. What are the factors of the number 12? Well, we already said before that the number 1 is always a factor because it can divide in. And now we have the number 2. 2 can divide into 12 evenly because 2 times 6 is 12. 3 can divide in evenly because 3 times 4 is 12. 4 can divide in evenly because 4 times 3 is 12. When we get to 5, that's not a factor because 5 does not divide into 12. But 6 does divide into 12 because 6 times 2 is 12. Then we get to 8, 9, 10, and 11. None of those are factors because they do not divide in. But the number 12 is a factor because it is able to be divided in here. 12 divided by 12 is 1. So this whole list is the list of factors for the number 12. All right, let's get a little more practice with this. What about the number 6? What do you think the factors of the number 6 would be? Well, 1 is always a factor because it can divide into 6. In this case, 2 is a factor because 2 times 3 is 6. 3 is also a factor because 3 times 2 is 6. 4 is not a factor. 5 is not a factor because neither one of those can divide into 6 evenly. But 6 is a factor. Like I said, the, the last number you get is always going to be the number itself because 6 divided by 6 is 1. And then for our final one of these guys, let's look at the number 8. Let's list all the factors of the number 8. 1 is always a factor because 1 can be divided into 8. 2 is a factor because 2 times 4 is 8. 3 is not a factor. It cannot be divided in. 4 is a factor because 4 times 2 is 8, so I'll put a 4 there. 5 is not a factor. 6 is not a factor. 7 is not a factor because none of those can divide in evenly. But then 8 is a factor because it's the number itself, and 8 divided by 8 is 1, so it can be divided in there. So look at these listings. Make sure you understand what the concept of a factor is. That's the most important thing. A factor is just when you figure out what numbers can be divided into something and evenly with no remainder, and then you list those numbers. So you start with the number one, you keep marching up until you arrive at the number itself, and you list all the factors that can divide evenly in a list. And that is what we're trying to find when we find uh, the factors of a number. And again, we'll use it much later on and here in a little bit when we talk about fraction simplification and common denominators and things like that. So this skill is incredibly important. So make sure you understand it. Make sure you can do these. And then you can follow me on to the next skill where we will continue working with fractions and building your skills and confidence.